Our next competitor, the Frisian. Um, Natasha Altoff Kelly, Victorian competitor. First of two Frisians in the class today. Very popular breed of horse with their flowing locks and impressive black colour. to hold at X, almost square, could be a little straighter, both to and out of the halt, and turning left at C. They make an impressive picture as they turn the corner at H, leaving the Agapanthus behind them. The uh, ubiquitous purple flowers, purple and white, very uh, common in, in Australia at this time of year as we uh, uh, are heading towards the middle of summer. Into the Trotthuff Pass, uh, struggling to, uh, to sit square and, and losing a little bit the impulsion. Again, uh, tending to sit to the outside, uh, um, struggling to have him step up under with the inside hind especially. And the halt rein back. Could be even more clearly diagonal, but mostly obedient and forward to collected trot. Okay, an impressive picture there with his uh, handsome black horse. Into the extended trot. Working to get those hocks stepping up and under. And transition to passage. Impressive from the front as we, we see him here coming round to D for the first Piaf. Little interruption and some problems with the quarters to the right. And directly to the passage. One feels that uh, the Piaf and passage are, are there. Um, perhaps. Uh, still in development but clearly the technique is there the extended walk could be even more through the body overstep four beat transition to collected walk keeping the activity up Little, could be a little more steady to the contact and to the passage. One had the feeling the Ebony Park Abe was, was waiting for that transition. Passage coming a little high in the transition to Piaf, but managing the Piaf and could be a little more direct out. More at ease in the passage with the transition to collected canter at E. Fairly straight in the transition and then losing the forward for just a moment. Very impressive mane with the, the plat going to the level of the rider's boot into the two time changes. Ah, oh, mistake there at the fifth. Uh, so twice now the problems for the left to right change. Started off well. and the extended canter. Good energy, willingness. Coming back to the collection, although it could have been more through behind in the change. Uh, beginning without the bending, unfortunately, and could have more bending there to the right. 
little difficult from our angle for sure, but um, the bending is a little bit problematic here. And coming a little high behind. Very difficult movement, the zigzag. So having difficulties on the line, heading a little towards A and having some problems with the change to the right. So a beginning, but difficult in the Grand Prix. Um, we've seen a couple of the early competitors where the Piaf is not really established and here unfortunately we, we saw real problems uh, with the changes and in, in this case with the bending. And a single flying change at X coming up for the second pirouette. Second pirouette to the right. Transition to trot. So, and good energy into the extended trot. Um, today we've, we've seen some difficulties f for the rider riding the horse into the outside rein and, and developing the lateral bending. So still working on the suppleness uh, required, the roundness over the top line. But the horse uh, obviously willing and um, one has the feeling that uh, things will come together. Piaf, better transition and the passage. Well done in the passage, coming up to the final halt at G and obedient at the halt. Well done to Natasha Althoff Kelly and Ebony Park Abe. So there we saw Ebony Park Abe with Natasha Althoff Kelly in the Equestrian Australia CDN Grand Prix.